You know when you're stuck in a group chat trying to decide on a movie to watch or, or a place to eat? We often think the best recommendation comes from the most popular vote. So we all throw in a vote and then agree to go along with the option that gets the most votes. Totally intuitive way to go about it. But what if the secret to a great group decision isn't just what people like, but who they trust? A recent study delved into how to make group recommender systems, so the algorithms that suggest items to a group, more effective. The researchers developed a methodology that uses something that they called a temporal trust and confidence graph. This system doesn't look just at what each person wants. Instead, it maps out the trust relationships between everyone in the group, and it trucks, tracks how that trust changes over time. The goal was to better understand how mutual influence affects a group's final decision. Now, this study found that managing so-called temporal trust is a key challenge in group recommendation. So, the system generates suggestions by leveraging the trust and influence among group members. It can even identify who the most influential members are. But what does all of that mean for us in making our decision about where to go to dinner? Well, the most powerful insight is that trust in a group isn't static, it's dynamic, it's evolving. And the best recommendations aren't just an average of everyone's preferences. They're actually the result of a system that understands how people's trust in each other evolves. The algorithm recognises that the person you trust or should trust for book recommendations today might not be the most trusted person for travel advice next month. The dynamic nature of trust then is the key to unlocking better group decisions. Now you can apply this to your own life by thinking beyond simple polls. When planning a group activity, consider who in your group is a subject matter expert on that specific topic. So if you're picking a restaurant, defer to your friend who's a foodie. If you're planning a trip, listen to the person who travels often. You really will get better results that way than you will by just having a vote and acknowledging everyone's preferences. By paying attention to and leveraging this evolving trust within your own social circles, you can make better and more satisfying group choices and have a better dinner.